Hey, what's up? John Shred here, and today I am showing you what's in my camera bag for 2024. I'm going to CES next week for my first time. I haven't done one of these videos before, but I thought it'd be pretty cool to show you what tech I'm bringing with me. First, let's start with the camera. I'm using a Sony a7 III. I'm using it right now to record. Uh, but I get some B-roll just to kind of show you what that's about. And I'm using a Sony 20mm lens uh, FE 1.8. Now, let's open this up. Now, my camera goes right here. So that's kind of the big blank spot. I also have a secondary lens that I use sometimes, my Nifty 50, a uh, 50mm Sony uh, F1.8. It's a kind of a lower end lens. Uh, it's kind of just nice, easy for, for kind of portrait shots or B-roll. Up above me, which I will be bringing, is my iPhone. It, it is, I will use it for gimbal shots. Uh, I do have a DJI Ohm 5. Here, let me show you that. That I will bring with. This guy here will attach to my iPhone, and then I can do gimbal shots with it. Uh, and that is ideal. I don't have uh, like a full-size gimbal yet that I could put my Sony onto. I'll, I'll trust, I'll use my iPhone. It's a 13 Pro Max. And I, I will record all my kind of moving shots with that. And then anything stationary, I will use uh, the Sony. Speaking of stationary, you need a tripod. I have, what is it? It's, it's a Go Goo Photo GT1. I'll put links down below for all this stuff. If you want to check it out. Like I say, if you, if you buy it through Amazon, it will get a little piece. So thank you very much. Uh, it's, it's a nice little tripod. It, it, it works. Uh, I'll have a shot here. Uh, of it on the side of my camera bag. Hopefully the airport lets me through with it on the side like that. We will find out. Okay, what else, what else, what else? Microphones. Okay, so I have this lavalier mic here. It's actually connected to a DJI uh, mic, one of these, these small guys here. Uh, so there's actually two of them. It comes, it comes in the package uh, with a with transmitter. I'm actually not using the transmitter right now to connect it to the camera. Uh, I just don't really have a nice way to mount it yet. These are still, I haven't really figured all that out, but what's nice about these particular microphones is they can record internally. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's what I plan on doing. And what I'll do is I'll actually hook up, I have this Rode micro video that I'll hook up to my Sony itself. And I'll use that as backup audio. Just in case this fails, I'll have some audio. Uh, that way, in case the transmitter isn't working, at least I have kind of two different audio sources. Um, I've recorded video and lost audio before, and it's just, I mean, it's the worst. It, it's, it's, uh, I'd much rather have the audio in place and not have video and put up some, you know, some B-roll. But when you lose audio, it's just so detrimental. So yeah, to me, that's a pretty big, important one. Here, the... This is what we use for a light. Now in, in here in the studio, I have a nice key light, I have these other lights, but when I'm on the studio floor, I will not have that option. So I purchased the Small Rig RM120. It's an LED light that actually is RGB as well. It'll go any different color. Uh, I'll probably just keep it white for the purpose of at CES, but I just need to get something on your face. I don't know how the lighting will be in the showroom floor. So I wanna have that and I'll mount it to the top of my camera. Speaking of top of the camera, I do have uh, called an Andy Sin A6 5.7 inch monitor that's bolted to the top of my Sony that I get to see and kind of see the frame of what's happening. It really helps me know what's going on, especially if I'm gonna be interviewing people. I want them to be able to see that they are in, in frame. Check out the lighting without having to go behind the camera. You can really kind of configure that. So. This actually mounts to the top of that. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of get you a, a photo of what hopefully the whole setup will look like. Uh, and I really, really hope it works. Okay, what else do we have in here? We have a newer microphone handle. So speaking of those DJI microphones, I am going to attach one of those. And then the idea is that I can be like, hey, so-and-so, what's up? What do you think of that? Yeah, okay, cool. Oh yeah, I think of that. And then I'll kind of be like a you know, radio or not radio or TV broadcaster. I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Like I say, my first time, so I'm, I'm winging a lot of these 
thoughts. So we'll see how that goes. Next up, I did talk about the DJI OM5. It does come with a nice little tripod, just a, a portable tripod as well. I just never know when you need to put the camera down. Thankfully, this has a quarter inch screw. I can put this in the bottom of the Sony as well. If I do need to put the Sony somewhere that the other larger tripod isn't going to fit. Aha, an A-Data two terabyte portable hard drive. I am bringing my MacBook Pro M3, but it only has 512 gigs of storage internally. So I think this will really help. I do have a one terabyte uh, SD card in this camera with a 512 gig card as a backup. So I don't want to keep all the data on the card or on my MacBook Pro. Uh, I will move it over to uh, that A data portable drive at night, just, just as a backup. Last thing I want to do is, is lose, lose, my, uh, lose my footage. This is pretty cool. This is a charger, it's batteries. It's two extra batteries for the Sony camera that I'm using right now. But it also acts as a power bank, which is pretty cool. So if I need to charge my cell phone or if I want to charge like a laptop, something simple, something small, I could plug it into here and I can charge it and it charges using the two Sony batteries, which is cool. Then when I get back to the hotel, I can just plug it in and it charges both of them. I think it's pretty cool. I, uh, I like that a lot. What else do we have in here? ND filter for the 20 mil lens I'm using. Now an ND filter, I will need this. I'm gonna do any shots and recording outside. So even just some, hey, I'm at the convention. This place is cool. And a shot of the outside at Las Vegas, like a base, Las Vegas Convention Center. Uh, if you don't have that, everything's gonna be blown up. It, it, it'll look crazy. So the ND filter will help with that. A Bluetooth remote for, for I, I'm, it's mainly for photos. I don't do a lot of photos, but every now and then it'd be nice to set it up. I, I'll, I'll keep it in my bag. Headphones, these are plug-in headphones, 3.5 mil. You don't see these very often anymore. Uh, but this is actually for my MacBook Pro so that I can listen to the audio when I'm editing. Oh, here, let, me, let me open this up. A notebook? I mean, I have a couple of pens in here in the pockets, notebook, just in case uh, I have ideas and for customs forms and stuff like that. What else? We have a USB-C uh, adapter for USB-A, because MacBook Pros only have USB-C. It has an SD card slot reader. You can use that. And this may be the last item. Is actually a, this is a 14 inch portable monitor. I just picked this up to hook up to the MacBook Pro so that I can video edit and have dual screen. It's only a 14 inch MacBook Pro. And so I thought it'd be small. If I had this, it could really help just get some things over on my, on my desktop for when I'm editing in the hotel room. That's about as much as I can fit in here. There might be some room over here to the side. I, I wanna get a water bottle maybe. Some Apple AirTags that I will, I will use to track to make sure everything is safe. A bunch of extra USB keys, just just to move something around. You never know, especially when I'm meeting a bunch of tech people. Um, I don't know. So that this is my first attempt. We'll see. I actually have. I don't have room in this because of the 14-inch portable monitor to put the MacBook Pro in this laptop slot. I actually just picked up a Monos Carry On Pro. And that has a laptop spot in the front. I'll do an unboxing of that later and, and, and a video and a review on it. But I'll be putting the MacBook Pro in my carry-on along with a couple extra adapters, you know, some power adapters, a couple extra chargers that will not fit in things. Things that I will leave in the hotel room. This is stuff here that I mainly will be carrying around with me on my back so that I can set up to do interviews. That's it. I know that was a quick bit of a whirlwind. Like I said, I will put descriptions and links to all these items in the, you know, in the description below. If you have any suggestions, any recommendations before I go to CES, I do have a couple more days. Uh, if not, if you're going to CES, hit me up, please. I'll put some information. You can always reach out to the email uh, on the YouTube channel. And then, yeah, I mean, I hope I will give you a bunch of cool updates from CES. Please stay tuned. I think this will be the last video before I go. So, Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.